Let's go. Okay. It's a little weird opener. If you're still here, thanks. What's going on, you guys? Keith Garns here, and uh, that's probably my most disturbing opening yet. More to come. Anyway, uh, this is a special presentation. I decided to go over what I hate about Battlefield 3. Now, this isn't a hate video. Before before I get started on what this video, I mean the video contents, I don't want anybody thinking that uh, right away, you know, oh, he's bashing. You know, let's listen to this loser bash. I'm not bashing. I'm simply saying what I want to see fixed by Battlefield 4. Um, <clears throat> I will also be doing a What I Hate About Call of Duty video as well. I'm not being impartial. I'm not sitting there saying, you know, being a fanboy saying Call of Duty is perfect and Battlefield is horrible. I'm not saying that at all. So, I don't hear something. So, let's start. Um, first of all, I have Battlefield 3 on the PlayStation 3. And I, uh, I'm rank 20, 21, I think I'm 20, 21, 20 and a half. I think I'm almost to 21. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And I've been playing for a little bit. And, uh, out of all the matches I've played, I only play Conquest and, um, from what I've played of Battlefield 3, and I've played plenty, it's not like I only played two matches and then put it down. Uh, I mean, I definitely enjoy the game. Uh, overall, I do. I am a fan of Battlefield 3. I did enjoy the game. It was. It's a good game. Um, however, there is this one issue that I hate about Battlefield 3. And this is really the only problem I have with Battlefield. Now, um, I'm sure there's more than one problem I have with Call of Duty, and, I'm, and I'll get to that in that video. But with Battlefield, the one thing that I've always hated about the games, and that doesn't mean I hate all of them, I'm just saying this is something I hate about them, is that the accuracy in those games are so atrocious. I mean, they're atrocious that... Uh, yesterday, yeah. Yesterday I was playing... Um, Battlefield 3 and I played a few sessions so I mean each session can go from 10 minutes to 45 minutes it just depends on how bad each team is 45 minutes is a is a couple of teams that are barely playing the objective and only a couple people such as myself and someone else is playing the objective and so let's just say I roughly played for a good maybe two three hours. We'll, we'll just say I played for about three hours tops, and you know, I had a three hour session. I pretty much played without mo getting up from my chair. You know, I'm a typical gamer. I love my video games, so I played for about three hours straight, and it flew by. Um, and for the most part, I enjoyed myself. I love the realism of Battlefield Three. Um, I love it's it's like they say the small the small things count. Uh, or make that much difference. And one thing I love about Battlefield 3 is when you're running, you can hear the guy, <sighs> you know, you can hear him breathing. That sounded wrong, but <laughs> but you can hear him breathing heavy. You know, you can hear him e excelling from running out of breath from running. And uh, then when you stop and you're a and you stop, it makes like a noise like he's stopping. I love it. It's so fucking realistic. And then when he stops, he go you can hear him <sighs> catching his breath. I mean, that right there alone makes me love the game that much more. However, before you know, I, I kiss the ass of Battlefield anymore. There is a problem, and like I said, it's the accuracy. Now, during this three-hour session, I found something that made me want to throw my controller through the screen quite a few times and more times than it should have and you know i don't understand why i'm having to go through like a whole clip mag whatever you want to call it of bullets to kill somebody for example i usually just run the ump now before we get into the discussion of oh you know the ump sucks that's why i've used tons of guns i've used the scar the scar is horrible in the game i've used uh, a couple light machine guns one wasn't bad but the recoil on it is horrible um i've used the the pp 2000 is probably my favorite gun but it has a really small uh 
rounds. I'll have to put extended mags on that later. Um, but when I'm having, uh, you know, but in the ump, I'm just using the ump for example because that's what I ran yesterday. Um, I put about 26 bullets into this one guy. No lie. No fucking lie. And I'm shooting this guy and he doesn't die. I fast swapped my pistol. Boom. He kills me in like two shots from a fucking scar. Now, I don't know what's going on with the scars. I don't know if maybe people have, maybe uh, if you unlock enough stuff for the we for the weapon, you get a ton um, of attachments for it, and you can put on, like, this really good attachment that just makes it a beast. Or if there's maybe some kind of a glitch going around with the, uh, with the scar, and it makes it insanely accurate to where it's cheating. I don't know. But the game has problems with the accuracy. Accuracy, like I said, it, it's a tr it's not terrible. It's above terrible. It's atrocious. I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm shooting, and why am I putting in 26? I mean, come on, got people, 26 bullets into one guy, and this and it didn't only happen once. I mean, like I'll put in half the clip into one guy, and I'll even burst fire to see if that helps because in Call of Duty it sometimes does. And it doesn't even make a difference. I don't know. If you have the same problem, please feel free to share your experience with me. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But when people ask me, what's the, you know, why don't you like Battlefield? It's like, I, it's not that I don't like it. I just sometimes the Battlefield games become unplayable because the accuracy is so fucking bad. And that's probably the one thing I would say is game ruining about Battlefield sometimes is the accuracy. And I looked it up and a lot of people agree. Anyway, this is the Keith Carnes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, I'm not bashing Battlefield 3. I said I liked it and I'm not saying that just to say it. I honestly do. I own it and I played it for three hours. You're not going to play a game you don't like for three hours. I could never do a Modern Warfare 3 three hour session. No. No. I, you see this? I'd rather rip my fucking beard out you know, uh, hair by hair, bing, 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 you know how fucking painful that would be? That's how much I hate Modern Warfare, I fucking hate it, MW3, I hate that. Anyway, you guys, this is the Keith Carnes, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow in my next, um, installment of Which is Better? I have a pretty cool topic for you guys, lined up for tomorrow, hope you tune in, and please subscribe if you haven't done already to keep up with me. If you don't want to subscribe, then thank you very much for viewing, and, uh, have a good day, night, evening, I don't know, wherever you are, have a good one. Peace.